As we all know, the stock SV seat from Suzuki is one of the worst seats in the industry. So if you're curious about that, stick around for the video. First, a word from our sponsors. There are no sponsors. I paid for everything myself. We're really poor. It's kind of sad. So the answer we picked was the Bagster seat. Uh, Baxter is a seat making company out of France and we picked it for a few reasons. First off, it's pretty well priced. It's about 30,000 yen, that's roughly 300 US dollars including shipping and everything. Most people seem to like modern Bagsters. They used to have a leaking issue because they didn't put plastic over the phone before but now they're good. And it's also what can you get in Japan. We got it from motostorming.com and they ship almost anywhere. There you go. That's how we got it. There are other seats for the SV and they're not really an option here in Japan so this is the one we get. As promised here's the basic overview. We've had the seat on the bike for about 600 kilometers. She's ridden most of that. I did about a hundred on it so far. It's definitely an upgrade. That's not perfect. So if you're expecting the level of comfort you would get from, say, a V-Strom 650, which I previously owned, you're making a mistake. This seat is not that. But if you're expecting a money well spent definite upgrade, this is the seat for you. The main thing is it's flatter. So you don't have that cup that holds you in place or slides you into the tank. It's flatter and they did that by just adding foam. The basic seat pan is about the same. There was a bit of a squeakiness to when we first put it on the bike and that's gone now. So there's nothing really negative to say. Like it could be a bit better cushioned but the weight is slightly more than the stock seat. Not much. So I assume that's part of it. The craftsmanship's really good. As far as the underside, I'll take it off real quick and show you that. It fits perfectly into the Suzuki mounting brackets. Has a nice little Made in France sticker. Um, it's got these foam pads. I'm not sure if I was supposed to take these off. There were blue pads that I had to pull off. And you can see the plastic coming out in all these places. But it fits pretty good. These are a bit loose, a bit taller than the stock ones. But nothing to complain about. And it just slots right back in. Let's adjust these for the bag. Keep this out. And I missed. But yeah, it wasn't that hard to take on and off. That's because I'm bad at taking it on and off. That's a Suzuki thing, not a Bagster thing. But generally, it's a good seat. And another nice thing is, right here if you see the SV logo, it sticks real straight so you can slide your butt against it real good and it holds you in place when you're riding pretty aggressive and it's just a nice comfortable padded extra thing to have as far as passenger comfort it's never been a passenger on this bike I don't know if there ever will be because again not my bike it's my wife's bike and this is how we carry our stuff but it is a flatter softer more cushioned seat in the passenger section too so I have no reason to think it wouldn't be more comfortable there too. But this isn't a two-up touring bike. Keep that in mind. And yeah, this seat makes it more touring capable. My wife did 10 hours over the course of two days on this seat. And she had almost no complaints about the seat that you wouldn't have on any bike after a 10 hours and two day kind of ride. And she's a new rider. This is her first bike. So, yeah. But do I recommend the Bagster seat? Short answer, yes I do. Is it the best aftermarket seat you can get for this bike? I don't know. Uh, if you look into the reviews, some would argue for something like a Mustang or a Corbin seat, but those are also going to be heavier and I don't know how to get them here in Japan. I'm not saying I can't, I'm just saying I don't know. But that's it for this video. Short, sweet, to the point. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.